Hello everyone, I am Miss Sara. Today we will explain another lesson on Unit 2. It's Lesson 4, Subtraction Strategies. In Lesson 3, Addition with Regrouping, we learned different ways and strategies to help us solve addition problems. Today we will learn new ways and, and you can choose the way you prefer to solve problems. Also, you will be able to use place value to decompose numbers in subtraction problems. Let's start, as we always do, with access. Open your books to page 73. Now let's see it all together. Now here's page 73, as you see. Please solve problem 1, 2, and 3 mentally, with your mind. This means to try to solve the problems in your mind, without writing, and let me know how much time it took you. When you are done, write the way you used on a piece of paper. You will give you, I'll give you time to answer and write your thinking. Now, I'm sure you have used different strategies to answer. I asked the students in my class, the students in the class, to solve these problems. problems and I was very glad about their thinking. I chose two of their answers. The first answer is from Yasin. Yes, in number one here. He said that he added seven to three. He added seven to three. And the answer was what? Yes, Yasin said that. Here, he added seven plus three. His answer was 10. Okay? Type. Then he noticed that there were 3 and 7 in number 2. Here, here number 1, 3 plus 7. Yasin Ali equals 10. In number 2, he said that 3 plus 5 plus 7. Yasin of Tucker in changing the places of in addition doesn't mind. Yani huwa Ali e Ali here. I do 7 plus 3 gives me 10, then plus 5 gives me what? Yes, gives me 15. Yan Yasin Amal, 3 plus 7, Hua Tchayel in a 3 Gambi 7. 3 plus 7 equals 10, plus 5 equals 15. Then he did the same, same thing in problem 3. They Mahna Shaifin, our problem 3, 7 plus 6 plus 3. Amal E, Amal is 7. Plus 3, in Homa Gamba Bad, plus 6. Yani 10 plus 6 gives me 16. Okay? I am really happy, Mabsuta Minna Giddan Yasin. You are right. Do you know why? Because we used the tenth, he used what? The tenth and the commutative property to make addition easy. Stagdim el commutative property, el hai changing the places. This means he thought like mathematicians and used what he learned before. Now let's add this characteristic to the others. Here I will put use structure. I'll add it here, okay? Now the second answer is from Farida. Let's see how Farida solved this. Now as you see here, she solved the problems almost the same way as Yasin. Zay may seen amal bizzab. But she noticed something very important. Farida lahzat haga muhimma giddan. That there was a relation between problems two and three. Lahzat in fi haga, relation between two and three. Let's look at them. Have you noticed anything? Farida noticed that the numbers for problem two and three are similar. Zayi baat, aw shabah baat. The only difference, il far il wahid ma binhum in three had six, not five. Aw three and ha six, we two and ha. Five. Okay, can you guess what Farida has done? Had if I know Farida has done what? Farida realized that the answer to problem three would be one more than problem two. Problem three and they have one more than problem two. So the sum in problem three would be what sixteen. He said the problem two is sum betaha fifteen. Yeah, but I will add one in problem three to be sixteen. Okay. Now, what do you think? A very important note, right? 
from these answers, we have learned different ways to answer and one of these ways is using the tenths. In the same way, we can use the hundreds to calculate the sum of problems with large numbers. We have also used the commutative property and found the relationship between the problems. You can also use all these to solve problem number four and from four to eight, okay? You can solve by yourself now from problem four to eight. And I'm sure you can do this very easy and quickly. In build today, we'll focus on two subtraction strategies. These are counting back with decomposition and counting up with decomposition. I will write them now in the strategies chart or you will write it in the strategies chart. Let's see how we can use them. Before we do this, we need to revise something very important on a number line. Now, we need to revise how we move on number lines. The number line here, like you see, I will draw number line here, yes? Here, the number line we have studied is labeled, so the numbers are written on it. I am sure you know that as we move to the right, the numbers increase, and when we move to the left, the numbers decrease. Will this change it? There are no numbers written on the number line? Of course not. We have here a number line, okay? Let's see, here I have number line. Like the one we use in counting addition and subtraction, but it is open and not labeled. It only has three dots. Here we have three dots, yes? I have three dots as you see here, okay? And I replace, and we need to replace them with these three numbers, which are 210, 260, 290. Of course, the smallest number, I will write it here. The biggest number, I will write it here, and the, the one in the middle is 260, it is very close to 290, right? I mean that each point represents a number of the three numbers. We need to think about where to put these numbers, yes, like you see here. The smallest one here, the biggest number here, and this is the one between 210 and 290. It is closer to 290. Now let's revise subtraction strategies and, use and see how to use them. We'll start with counting back with decomposition. For example, we need to subtract 263 minus 125. Let's see. Here I have 263 minus, yes, 125. Okay, what should I do here? Yes. The first thing is to write the larger number, okay? I will start with the larger number, which is the larger number, 263. So I put it here, okay? Then what should I do? Yes, I will, now I need what? I will write the smallest number as expanded form, as expanded form. So this number will be 100 plus 20 plus 5. Then what should I do? Yes, I will subtract each number from the biggest number. Yani hamil e, yani hamil 263 minus 100. So I will jump 100 like you see here. I will jump 100 like you see here. Give a minus 100. That when I make 263 minus 100 equals what? Yes equals 163. 200 minus 100 gives me 100. 263 minus 100, 163. Then what should I do? Yes, I make 163 minus 20. So I will jump 20, like you see here. Yep, minus 20. So 60 minus 20, yes, the new number will be 143. Excellent. Then what should I do? I will subtract 5. So I will jump another 5, like you see here, minus 5. 
So, 143 minus 5. على فكرة ممكن أعملها بtwo ways. ممكن أعملها مرة واحدة. Minus 5. ممكن أعملها minus 3. Then minus 2. Like you see here. 143 minus 3. 140. Minus 2 equals 130. Yes? 8. Okay? So, the answer is 138. This is the final answer I have. Now we will use the second strategy, which is counting up with the composition. Counting up with the composition. Here we will do something different. Look at the following example. But this is the first one, and this is the second one. Let's see. Here I have, I want to subtract 324 minus 134. 324 minus 134. Yala, write with me. Solve it with me. Ha, what should I do here? Yes, first of all, I will draw the number line. But this time, ha, I will start from small till I reach the big. So, I will write the small number here, 134. I want to reach the big, which is 324. طيب to do this strategy انا هستخدم ال benchmark numbers فاكرين ال benchmark numbers اللي هما ايه؟ yes ال friendly numbers طيب here I have 134 طيب ايه ال benchmark number بتاعي اللي عايزة اوصله؟ yes 140 انا عايزة اوصل ل 140 so what should I do؟ yes I will add only 6 to reach 140 يبقى I'll move I will jump 6, يبقى plus 6. يبقى 134 plus 6 gives me 140. This is the first benchmark. Then what should I do? Yes, 140, I will add what? Yes, I will add 60 to reach what? To reach the second benchmark, which is 200. يبقى أول حاجة, أنا عندي 134. To reach the benchmark, 140, I'm at plus 6. Type 140 to be 200, Hamil A, yes, plus 60. Excellent. Plus 60 to reach 200. Okay. Still, an Isa also lists 324. Type from 200 to 300. What should I do? Yes, I will jump another 100 to reach 300. Right? So, this is plus 100. Excellent. Type. Here I have 300. I want to reach 324. Yes, I will jump only 24 to reach 324. Right? Okay. Type. What is the answer? Yes, I will add all these numbers to get the right answer. 6 plus 60 plus 100 plus 24. Now, we'll do 24 plus 6 gives me what? Yes, gives me 30. Then, 30 plus 60 equals 90. Plus 100, the answer is 190. This is the final answer I have. Now, it's your turn to apply the two strategies you have learned and check your understanding. Please go to page 74. In your books, I'll give you time to answer problem one using the strategy you prefer. نستخدم أي strategy تعجبنا. When we are back, you can discuss your answers. Now we'll solve with you problem number one. Here, as you see, problem number one, 340 minus 204. Okay, I will use the counting back strategy. I will use the counting back strategy. So, the strategy is counting back strategy. Okay. Now, we will start by decomposing the small number type. And Hamil E, I will write the solution here. Like you see, 
counting back strategy, so I will start with the big number, which is 340. I will write it here, 340. Then I will decompose the smallest number, you got 204, will be 200 plus 4. But in Hamil E, yes, I will subtract 200 and subtract 4 from this number. So 340 minus 200, I will jump in this way, 200. But minus 200 gives me, yes, 140. Then what should I do? I will take 4 or subtract 4. So I will jump in this way, 4, here is minus 4. So 140 minus 4 gives me 136 and this is my answer. Now I have solved problem 2, Halit number 2 will different the difference is 2,298. The answer is 2,298. Okay, and about problem number three, the difference is 460. I solve it, where the answer is 460. And the difference in problem 49 is the difference we have for these two problems are not the same as mine. You will need to revise your solutions and spot the errors. Don't worry if you have errors. This is very normal as you are still practicing using new strategy. Let's move to connect on page 75. Here is 75. Now I need you to think about why there are so many different ways to solve problems and why it is very important to find patterns. I'll give you time to write your thinking before resuming our lesson. Now, let's apply what you have learned today on one of the problems in practice page 76. Let's solve problem number three. Here is the practice page. We need to find the difference. Yes, this is problem number three, okay? Now we need to find the difference of 839 minus 199. Here we can use what? Yes, counting up with the composition strategy. Counting up with the composition strategy. Yani, I will start from the small number to reach the big number, okay? So I will draw my number line here. I will start from the small number, which is 199 to reach what? The biggest number, which is 839. Using what? The benchmark numbers. Numbers in friendly pati. Type, I will have 199. Il benchmark betati. Yes, 200. Yeba to reach 200, hamil e. Only I will add one in this way. Yeba hamil plus one. Amat plus one li to reach 200. Type, now I want reach this number, 839. Type, il benchmark bti, 600. Type, to reach 800, and I want to reach benchmark bti, 800. I will add what? Yes, 600. I will add 600 here, li, to reach the 800. Right? Type, here I want, from 800 to reach 839, what should I do? I only jump 39, right? Li to reach 839, a plus 39, okay? So, what is my answer? Yes, I will just add 1 plus 600 plus 39. Type had the thing, I only miss, I can jump 30 and then 9. I only yes, you are right, 30 plus 9 is also right. So the answer is 1 plus 600 plus 30 plus 9. Okay? 30 plus 9, 39 plus 1, 40. 40 plus 600 equals what? Yes, 640. And this is my 640 and this is my final answer. Now, the answers to the rest of the problems in practice are shown on the screen now. Please record the answers. You use it later. You answer these problems yourself. 
If you find that your answers are different, لو لقينا ال answers different, please go to page 74, revise the strategies, نراجع ال strategies كويس قوي we have learned today, and re-answer the problems, ونحل المسائل تاني. You can have more practice on the different subtraction strategies and check your understanding. You can view that. You can view this by scanning the quick code in your books, page 73. This is the end of our lesson for today, and we have revised addition strategies and practice mental math. We have also learned a new way of subtraction and practice on it. I am sure every one of you has chosen a different strategy. كل واحد استخدم strategy مختلفة عن التاني. But you have reached the same solution in the end. We will just do like ants going back to their colonies. They use different ways, but they reach the same place at the end. Now, thank you so much. See you next lesson.